All right, everybody. So it's actually the very beginning of Memorial Day weekend. And we started the YouTube channel one year ago on this weekend. The first video we had was picking up some mowers on Memorial Day itself, which would be Monday. This is Friday. And I thought I'd um, give a quick kind of update, walk around a little bit. I know this can be boring or interesting, depending on your perspective. That's the mower that we picked up a year ago in our first video. And I have done absolutely nothing to it. And that's because I picked up probably way too many mowers last year and um, didn't spend enough time actually working on them. I don't know that I picked up too many mowers, I just didn't get them moved out. So I kind of got stuck with spending all my time getting more mowers and some of them weren't that nice and I wasn't actually making money really. All that aside, here's this mower and we're getting close, I think, to a time when we can actually fix this up, maybe in the next few weeks here. That'd be fantastic. And I've got another almost identical mower without the grass catcher, but this one has a Briggs engine and a 50 inch deck. So I've got two Craftsman ZTS 7500 mowers here that I want to get running. But yeah, no, I also, I gotta get this cleaned up in front of the shop. I, it's just too much because I parked something here thinking I'm gonna work on it and a year later it's here and all it does is just make the yard look like garbage right here. I need to keep all that stuff back there. So right now we are in the middle of fixing up the X320 here. Today I am planning to wash it and um, maybe start polishing it and maybe paint it. There's really just one spot that needs paint actually as far as the green goes that I can tell just right there. So very little painting but I would like to get this mower complete and ready to sell this weekend and well right now we actually have another um, two mowers um, that actually are for sale currently this LA 130 man I like how that hood turned out after polishing it that guinea pig oh yeah we lack Toros this one's for sale as well I actually have somebody coming tomorrow, possibly, to look at it. I may want to wash it a little bit more before then, because these spots are on here. This needs a quick rinse off. But those spots are from polishing that hood very close by. And we're in the middle of a bunch of stuff like normal. So the backhoe is giving me issues right now. The ignition, I put in a new ignition switch, which Everything worked great, and now for some reason it's like overheats and won't quite start. Overheats the ignition system. Like I can smell plastic starting to melt. I don't really know if I'm gonna do any modifications to the shop this year. I probably should go ahead and finish this up. It's just a lot of time to try to do a lot to the shop. I think I may just put a new piece of the sheet metal on. The skylights did not work out. I can't even remember. Uh, I think we started making a video about putting the skylights in because the old skylights broke, but they were a lot heavier duty and it lasted way longer. This one's already disintegrated down here, so I put another piece of metal just sitting there. That leaks. This one over here, it's not too bad, but it's got a hail hole right there. Yeah, need to get those taken care of. I think I'm possibly just gonna sell this mower as is because it looks pretty nice. I didn't pay anything for it and I might be able to get a few hundred dollars for it it cranks but won't start you know if I get a couple hundred dollars for it that's a couple hundred gained what I struggle with is the potential it's like oh but that could be worth more if I fix it but the reality is I don't have time to fix everything like that and I can still make money off of it so it's hard to be okay with that like it literally was just a few houses away and I dragged it home if I rinse it off, air up the front tire that's flat, and get $250 for it, that'd be, like, why would I complain? But my tendency is, oh, I can get that nicer and it'll be worth, you know, six, $700. But if I don't have time to, it's going to sit in the shop forever. This pesky mower is still giving me problems. I haven't, um, I say still giving me problems. I haven't worked on it. I kind of mow the yard with my demo mowers that I'm getting ready to sell sometimes, so. But if I sell them all, then I'm going to be stuck, so I need to... I need to get this puppy um, fixed up and running again. Anyway, so that's a one shot stop film update from Memorial Day last year. And I don't know if you guys enjoy updates like
like this. You know, it's hard to get videos out frequently, especially if I'm in the middle of a bunch of projects and I want a complete video project to go live instead of doing multiple part episodes. It makes it, it would make it easier to do vlogs, but you know, I don't know, maybe we should do a mixture. Maybe we could do two videos a week, have one vlog and one project. Because you end up with things with, like this, where like I'm in the middle of three more projects because I consider it complete when it's sold. I don't know, do you guys like vlog type videos or do you prefer more focused videos? I tend to prefer doing the more focused videos, but vlogs are easier to make. So anyway, yeah, you guys can um, let me know what you think. Two nice little mowers for sale. Memorial Day weekend, let's see if we can get one more up for sale. Good morning, everybody. This is actually beautiful Memorial Day itself now. It is 72 degrees right now, about 7.15 in the morning, 7.14. Today is the actual day. One year ago today, we filmed the first video for the channel. Memorial Day mower pickups, how not to unload a mower, where I picked up two different mowers at least that day. Here's the other mower I picked up a year ago. And I didn't notice it in that video, although I should have, that it says it's a 20 horse mower and the engine itself is a 17 horse engine. So somebody obviously swapped engines on here. I noticed there was some funkiness going on with the engine. And in the video, if I remember right, I actually read 20 horsepower and then read the 17 and a half horsepower. 20 horsepower, 17.5 horse Briggs but it didn't click. But if I'm getting back into part out mode here, since mowers don't seem to be selling really quick right now, then I may be parting it out fairly soon. Ah, it's a gorgeous day. So I've been trying to sell those um, two mowers. I still haven't sold them yet. The L130 and the um, other Toro Zero Turn. Here's the plan for today. To finish getting that one ready. I know, I was gonna try to do that last Saturday, but. It's looking really good. I really like how it turned out after polishing it. We need to do all the rest of the stuff, you know, put the dash label on, put the seat on, change the battery out. Yeah, see, I want to wash all the polish splatter that gets everywhere off. But man, look at that shiny green paint. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I'm probably going to keep saying that. Sorry. Anyway, so that's the first thing I want to do is get that moving forward. Second thing is I've got a hood, which I don't always really sell, uh, show these things, but I do still sell parts online. And uh, I sold a John Deere 130 hood, not a LA 130, 130, one of the old school fiberglass square hoods. I want to get that packaged up today and ready to ship out tomorrow. So those are the two main items that I want to get done because I know I tend to make really long lists. The stretch goals are getting the Z425 working again so I can use it to help clean up the yard because the back of still doesn't work and my four-wheeler stopped working again also. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to clean up the area around the behind the back door because it looks just kind of trashy. Those are kind of the stretch goals. We made some progress on here and got this thing actually kind of, sort of, running. We've got the spark, no spark issue figured out and be able to spray some carb cleaner in there and get it to fire it up, but the fuel system needs to be cleaned out. Get that taken care of, get this thing washed up, the front tire fixed or replaced with another one or something. And um, I think this is about a $500 mower, so that would be nice to get this thing um, taken care of and out of here as well. But once I get these four mowers, um, the two that are already listed, the Toro Zero Turn, the LA-130, the X320, and this one, once I get them all picture and listed I may need to switch gears into parting stuff out unless things pick up and I start selling them. I'm really just trying to get the shop cleared out. And the dead Cub Cadet engine. I've had several people ask me how I knew that it was really bad and is it really bad? I guess I don't really know for sure. It's just that it made kind of clattery clanking noises when it was running on one cylinder which to me means that there's Something bad going on there, a broken connecting rod, or I guess something broken and wrong in the valve train. I just don't really take apart engines because I don't really have a super clean space to work on them, and that takes a lot of time, and I just don't really like getting in inside of engines. I prefer swapping them if I have a good candidate. I'm not saying that it wouldn't sometimes be a better choice to take them apart, it's just kind of another area I've not really gotten into. 
I'm already spread thin across the board everywhere. I try to I'm trying to stay a little more focused on uh, more profitable ways. I have a ton of engines, uh, well, quite a few. Kind of more lean towards swapping out carburetors. But yeah, so I may go ahead and take that engine apart just so y'all can have another video and see what we find out in there. And then once I do that, then I can scrap it. So I may do that. Alrighty, let's see if I can catch up again with you guys later today and we'll see what we got done. All right, good news on this Memorial Day. Um, we got um, somebody who's on his way to look at this mower. So we'll see if we can't get a mower sold today. Let's fire up this mower and move out of the way. Looks pretty good. I'll let you know if we sell it. Okay, so we sold that Toro. Um, that was fantastic. You'll have to check out the video on that Toro to see how that went. And he really encouraged me a lot about my truck, about working or getting it fixed up. Well, he really likes that body style of truck. I'm not super keen on the body style, but I think this truck actually is a pretty decent looking truck. And, you know, we talked about lots of the common issues and different things he's done, different fixes and things I can do for certain things. And, you know, I'm a little more excited to get back into that truck instead of just trying to get out of it because that truck was a really great deal. Uh, I, I mean, I think a better way to say it is that it was a really great value. Um, I think it was a good deal, but an excellent value. But it still does have some quirks, and maybe I just need to see it through and get those quirks figured out. So I have somebody coming now to look at the LA-130. At least I think they're coming, so we'll see if we get that sold and have two more sold today. That'd be nice. And I still need to get the X320 listed, and it's afternoon time now, so we'll see how it goes. The John Deere did not sell, so um, we'll see. Maybe we'll still get someone else today. I don't have no idea. I really need to get back to the X320 though, after all this distraction about mowers selling and not selling. Hey, one more sold. We had somebody look at the other one, so that's still pretty good. Yeah, I need to get this thing listed though, right? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so our Memorial Day weekend vlog is pretty much over. So we sold one more and we showed this more but did not sell it. And we got another mower almost ready to sell. Actually, we got two mowers pretty close. And it's about time to call it for the day. So we sold that Toro Time Cutter. Very happy about that. I wish we'd sold the LA-130, but, you know, it just didn't happen. Can't make someone buy something. The X320, I accomplished everything I was hoping to accomplish on it in order to list it. However, a new problem appeared, which was that when I test ran it um, to make sure the new battery cables and seat safety switch actually that was the main thing the seat safety switch work i started smelling gas after i turned it off and it was leaking gas out the carburetor so yeah you can see the dried gas there so not sure what's going on there but it looks good of course you can check out the video that we'll put out on this mower when that time comes got this thing diagnosed um, so we know now that it will spark. Last Friday night, I was diagnosing this more to see what was wrong with it because it would crank but wouldn't fire and we got that fixed. I didn't do anything on this, which I wanted to because I want to use that to mow my yard. I don't want to get that one all dirty. Well, the mowers I have ready to sell right now, I've like wa washed carefully and polished them. I don't really want to use them to mow, the ones I have for sale or close to being for sale. That and it's leaking gas, so it'd be slightly unsafe. I did not clean up behind the back door over there either, so the two stretch goals didn't happen. All in all, a good day. So happy one year with the YouTube channel. Not technically one year, because it's been one year since I started filming the first video, but it went live a while later, so you're probably gonna see this before our true one year anniversary on YouTube. But I will say, as of right now, we have 541 subscribers, so it's coming right along. And thank you guys for all your support and watching. Catch you guys next time.